Hello and welcome to Common Collected. Let's take a look at the new 164th scale Hot Wheels RC cars. We've got both the Nissan GTR R35 and the Roger Dodger. We're going to unbox them, see how they work, race them on a Crash Racers figure 8 track, and see how they do on a Hot Wheels track layout with no boosters or kickers. We found these at Target, but as of the time of the video recording, they are available on Amazon as well, for the regular retail price of only $20. We'll put links in the description below. Each package includes one vehicle, one controller, and one ramp that you can use to have your RC enter a Hot Wheels track builder system from a hard floor. The car won't really work on carpet, the wheels will just spin. Each car has a permanently installed lithium ion battery inside, which you charge through the charge cable hidden inside this back door of the controller. The controller is powered by four AA batteries, so in essence, that's powering the car too. The first time, they suggest you charge the cars for 20 minutes. After you plug them in together, press the charge slash pairing button in the middle of the controller. I missed that at first. It will blink while charging and then turn solid for a while once the car is fully charged. After some play, if the red LED blinks quickly or the car responds slowly, it's time to recharge. To play, switch on the power button under the car. Press the charge slash pairing button to activate the controller. The LED should light solid and you can test it by pressing one of the joysticks. Under the right joystick there are two alignment buttons you can use if your car doesn't go straight when driving forward. Our cars seem pretty straight already, so we didn't mess with that. The left joystick only moves forwards and backwards, it's pretty self explanatory. The rear wheels on the car spin and actually do reverse, so the car can go backwards. The speed does vary with how far you press the joystick, so you can get it to go slowly, but it's not easy. The joystick on your right is for steering, and only moves left and right. The front wheels don't rotate like real car steering. The way the vehicle turns is by having the rear wheel spin in opposite directions. So if you press the right joystick hard, the car just does donuts. It does have variable speed, but it's pretty hard to get it to turn at a slow speed. It's more difficult than getting it to drive forward or reverse at a slow speed. There's also a boost button. It's the bumper position for the right index finger. That being said, I think where this RC is really going to shine isn't on the open floor, slamming into walls and under refrigerators, it's on a closed track. We'll try it on a Hot Wheels course in a second, but first, let's try it on this Crash Racers figure 8 set. 3, 2, 1... This track being two cars wide makes it fun for passing and crashes, especially in the figure 8 layout. Crashing these cars may not be the best idea if you want them to last more than a day. It shows how well the course works if that's what you like, maybe it'll be a little safer in an oval layout. Here I made a Hot Wheels layout with two lanes, so there's no crashing. It's fun, but the race is over before you know it. It may be better to build a closed circuit course so the cars can keep going around. We combine the two lanes into one big loop. You do want to slow down a little when entering those hard 90 degree turns and go full speed or boost for the walled 180 turns in the loop. 
I also noticed the car doesn't have much top speed in reverse, so it can make the loop, but just barely. And the boost button is always forward, so if you tap boost while you're already going in reverse, it will slam the car forwards. At this point, the possibilities are endless. Just get out all of your track builder pieces and leave those boosters and kickers behind and see what you can build. What kind of closed circuit Hot Wheels track layout can you make? How many laps can you do without crashing? If you post a response video, please comment the link below to share it. We'd love to see what you're doing with your Hot Wheels RC. Maybe if we see some really awesome videos, we'll make a follow up with a more impressive layout ourselves. Thanks for watching Common Collective, we'll see you in the next video.